Mr. Stephen Kinnock. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Stephen. <laughs> <laughs> Apologise. <Yeah. Yeah. laughs> Unreservedly. <laughs> Um, but I, I thank the Foreign Secretary for his response, but the fact is that sport and politics do mix. Who can forget uh, Jesse Owens at the 1936 Olympics in Berlin, or the sporting boycotts of the despicable apartheid regime? Surely the Foreign Secretary sees the profound inconsistency between the very welcome retaliatory measures that our government and many other governments have taken, and us all trotting off to Russia uh, in a few months to uh, provide Mr Putin with a smokescreen for what he does and how he behaves. Well, uh, Prime Secretary. Uh, Mr Speaker, there are no plans to uh, boycott the, uh, the World Cup by the, by, or to try to get a boycott by the, 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 the England team, which is after a matter for the, the Football Association, uh, not the government, nor is there any desire to, uh, to punish uh, England fans, uh, as, as he knows there will be no attendance by... Uh, no attendance by, by ministers or members of the royal family, as the Prime Minister told the House on the, on the 14th of, uh, of March. And as, as you know, several other countries, several other countries have decided uh, to put in place the same measures.